You know what bugs me the most? It's when I wake up and realize I don't control my time. And in this video, guys, we are going to talk about why it's so detrimental to be on someone else's clock and how to stop it. So let's get to it after this intro. All right, guys, what is going on? Lux here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your journey with less stress. Today is another video in my Motivational Monday series, which is all about giving you brief little nuggets to take with you from your Monday to make you last till your Friday and do it with your chin up and excited. And in this video, guys, we're going to talk about why you need to stop being on someone else's clock. And really, that just means as a student, a lot of your time is already taken up. Med school loves to shimmy itself in to your schedule and makes it feel like you have no free time. But I promise you guys, you can control your hours and make it feel like you are in control and not med school and not your clinical schedule and not your college schedule. And it basically starts guys with two simple things, how you wake up and how you go to bed. I know it sounds simple, but I'm gonna explain what changes you can make at the start and end of your day to truly make it feel like you are the owner of your time, which you should be. So let's talk about first what you should be doing at the start of the day. Now I know a lot of you guys already know where I'm going and you already want to click off the video. You need to wake up a little bit early. Now I say a little bit, so I'm not saying to wake up at ridiculous times. Now I personally wake up at 4.30, but I didn't start doing that until I started to wake up at 6.30, then 6, then 5.30, then 5. And I got addicted to the free time that I had. Now it's ridiculous hours for sure, but I was able to do me during those times. I wasn't doing med school stuff. I was doing the things that I valued, which include reading books, working on my YouTube channel, working on my blog, things that I really enjoyed, working out. But many of you may feel like you don't even have time for that if you wanted to. That's where you have to find those little slivers of the mornings where everyone else is asleep, including the sun, and do it. So try to wake up just a little bit earlier than you do right now and find one thing that you feel like you wish you had time for and do it during that time. Maybe you want to read a little bit more. Maybe you want to catch up on a Netflix series. Who cares? Wake up at 5.30 and it's totally cool to go ahead and just watch that by yourself. And you probably don't want to wake up early to go watch TV show. So maybe find something else that's motivational enough to do. But again, you don't want to be in someone else's clock. I hate that idea of waking up, feeling like I'm already late, taking a quick shower, barely eating up breakfast, realizing that my outfit doesn't look very good and rushing out the door and immediately trying to put my frame of thought. That way, whoever is depending on me, whether it's my professor or my attending isn't disappointed. You know, and I hate that feeling. Instead, I'd rather go outside the door of my apartment and realize that I've done something for myself first, and now I can go and do something on somebody else's clock. So again, wake up a little bit early, have something you can look forward to that's motivational enough to wake up for, and it can be one thing for 30 minutes. I promise you guys will make a huge difference in your life. It has for me, and I've done it for like the last three years. Now, let's talk about the very last part of your day. Now, I remember talking to one of my brilliant classmates who would mention to me how burnt out she was. And that's because she loves studying at night. She said, look, I can't be a morning person like you. And I was like, that's fine. My wife isn't a morning person. In fact, I probably wake up when she's starting to go to bed. That's just how it goes. But she would tell me that she was so burnt out that she would study and immediately go to bed. And it was so discouraging to her, but she was doing this for three to four years. Now, I don't know about you, but I would hate to go to sleep and realize I'm doing something that's not enjoyable. Studying is not fun, guys. You can make it fun, but it's not fun. So rather than doing work immediately before bed, have a little bit of sliver time where you can enjoy yourself again, just the way you wake up early in the morning to have some you time, have some you time before you wrap up your day. This can be 30 minutes, this can be an hour. For somebody who's ridiculous me, I needed at least two hours to feel like I own my day. But even 30 minutes to read a book, to catch up on a TV show, to make lunch for the next day, or talk to the people that are important to you, I promise you will make a difference. So this is what I like to call my clock out time. So if you tend to go to bed at 10, 30, 11, then find a time before that where you just say, I'm done studying. I don't care how far behind I am. I can't study past this time. Obviously, there are some caveats and circumstances where you'll have to go over. But if you remain disciplined, then I promise you, you can use those extra bits of time to enjoy yourself. You know, maybe it's just catching up on a Netflix series or some YouTube channels that you love watching. Like this one, make sure you hit that like button. But whatever it may be, 
you know, use that time for you because then again, you'll go to bed feeling like you own the day and then you'll wake up feeling like you're going to own the day. Again, guys, never be on somebody else's clock. Obviously, as students, as residents, you know, as clinicians, you're going to be. That's just part of it. But make it feel like you aren't by owning the start and the finish of your day. So that's going to be the end of this Motivational Monday. Again, guys, if you enjoy these kinds of clips, I really enjoy making them for you because it kind of gives, you know, me, Peppy, and all going for my week. So make sure you let me know if you enjoyed this kind of content. Just comment down below if so. Make sure you give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want these kinds of videos. Videos. Again, this comes out on a weekly basis, but there's so much more educational content on how to do better on your journey with less stress. So with that being said, guys, I'll stop babbling. Thank you so much for being part of my journey by watching this video. Hopefully I've been a little help on yours and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.